You know, it's, it's, it's interesting how some people miss, I think, the larger fallout of, of a mass shooting. In some of the conversations I've seen online, people seem to be focused more on the numbers of people who have died as opposed to the total number of people who have been affected. You know, a lot of people are like, why are we making this such a big issue? Statistically, it's such a small version or such a small number of how many people actually lose their lives in America. Why aren't we paying more attention to... But it's like, yes, but, but the ramifications, the fallout is actually a lot broader than you think. And I don't think I, I truly realized how intense it was until I watched a video this morning about something that happened in Times Square last night where people, there was a, there was a motorbike that backfired. Apparently, like, it just backfired over and over again and people in Times Square panicked and like ran. And you see the footage on like, because there's the earth cam that shows Times Square and people ran for their lives. It wasn't even like a shuffle. It was, you could see people were like, it's happening, I'm running. And Times Square is not just Americans, by the way. Do you know what I mean? It's people from all over the world, tourists from other parts of America, and then people from other countries, but everyone goes, America, mass shooting. Everyone ran. It's not like the Germans were like, why is everybody running? You know, like, <laughs> everybody was running, because everyone was like, oh shit, it's the thing. And I was just like, when I watched that, I was like, man, is this, is this how people want to live? Where you, you, you don't even realize it, but you are constantly terrorized. It is domestic terrorism. You are terrorized. You know what I mean? If you can't hear a bang and be like, what was that? Your instinct is to run. You are living in a state of terror. I watched those people. They said they ran into every... People were running into stores. Some people were running into, like, Broadway shows. I think people ran into To Kill a Mockingbird. And the people in there were like, what is going on? Then the, the cast... Imagine this knock-on effect. They ran in. Then the people in the theater thought, like, it was coming in. So then the cast ran off stage, And then the whole thing was... Pa- now everyone... Like, it just... It shows you how far it goes. Because normally Broadway performers don't, they don't leave a stage. Like normally you'd come in like, ah, and they'd be like, ah. <laughs> and you'd be like, no, ah, and they'd be like, ah, like, no. But every, like it's, it's genuinely insane. It's like a, and that, that's what I, I, I wish more people would understand is that it's not about just like a, a loose thing of like, ah, is America about guns? Is America not about guns? It's like, no, what is, what is the effect of these guns having on America. And not just America as a country, but America the people. Because without the people, there is no country. The people of the country. What is happening to them? And genuinely, over and over again, I see the people fight about the Constitution. I'm like, yeah, but the Constitution is supposed to be for the people. If the Constitution is not protecting the people, then what is the point?